madala for incubation. So those egg that will be uh, classified no, for incubation, usually po ay uh, in-incubate so for 18 days. Ang incubator po may dalawang uh, klase po. We have what they call the seater and then we have what they call the hot cell. Pag sinapi po natin na uh, hot cell, uh, seater, doon po inagay yung itlog from day 1 to day 18. Uh, pagdating naman doon sa day 19 hanggang day 22, dapat yung itlog po ay at the day 19, dapat isalin po doon sa hot cell. Ibig sabihin na yung pagpapisa po talaga is yung paggawa ng sisiyo, palabas ng sisiyo sa itlog, is dapat doon on the 19 to 22 days na dapat doon nakalagay sa ating hot cell. Ayun yung DOC na yan o DOL chicks. Actually, paglabas ng itlog po doon sa, uh, sa, sa hot cell, hindi po talaga sa nasabihin natin na uh, one day old. Ibig sabihin na uh, one day old after uh, pulling them out of the hot cell. Pero kung uh, yung itlog po nagpisa po on the 19th day, ibig sabihin paglabas yan sa hot cell, uh, it can be on the third or the fourth day uh, after hatching. So yung sisi po, uh, this can be, again, uh, this can be race. No? Uh, isa po sa nakita namin in terms of the demand that uh, based on the uh, request no? dito po, we have because we have what they call the page, no? the Philippine native chicken page. Kung makita po nyo yung uh, page na yan, there, there number of Philippine native chicken uh, page per yung sa amin sa CPU, makita nyo doon na uh, this is developed out of the researches coming from Central Philippine University. Ibig sabihin, yan po ang page na minamanage po namin. Yung page na yan, based on the request ng mga nangangailangan ng CCO, if we are going to sum up the, uh, daily, the monthly requirement po, no, based on request, pumapalo hang from 50,000 to 80,000 per month. Ganyan po karami yung request. And uh, overwhelming po yung request na yan. Uh, maybe because the uh, racers were, found, were able to found that uh, uh, yung, 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 yung requirement talaga, yung the demand mismo in the Philippines, sobrang laki po. Uh, if we're going to base on the data way back in uh, 2013 and even uh, at the present, uh, it is found that the requirement of the country in terms of number, uh, it even reaches up to more than 2,000 plus, 200 million plus head of chicken is still required in this country. No, ganyan po kadami. Ibig sabihin na uh, the engagement, it should be done by a group and this can only not be supplied by one institution or one racer but this should be uh, supplied by uh, the commercial racer talaga ng native chicken. Now, if you are going to grow the, the old chicks no, in the organic way, iba kasi yung sa organic naman na pamaraan because uh, Yung manok po, pinapagala po natin, we have what they call the uh, ranging yard. So, it may reach us up to 3 months old uh, based on the data that we have at the station. Now, in 3 months time, usually it uh, is already weighing about mga uh, 800 to 900 grams. Uh, usually po sa pag-market natin ng native chicken, yung pinag-aiba with the commercial bill is that for native chicken, usually we prepare to market it at a weight of about uh, 800 to 900. Bakit? Doon pa kasi yung edad na kung saan, yung lasa po naman, no, is talagang iba talaga yung lasa. Medyo masasara po yung lasa niya at that age. However, when it reaches more than 4 months old po, umiiba naman. Bakit? Because it is the presence of what they call the pre-amino acid. Now, on the process po, no, you have to produce what they call the growers. Ang growers po na ito, no, usually aging about uh, 3 months old, uh, if you want to go further, no, you can select the chicken. Yung manok po na hindi maipasa doon for the selection to become as a breeder, that can be dressed and then sell in the market. However, yung breeder po, na, uh, kasi po yung usually the, the marketed uh, age of the breeder, na native chicken, it usually ranges from uh, 3 to 5 months. It depends on the uh, breeder. Mayroon po kasi nababinta na manok, uh, 3, to months, 3, to, uh, 3 to 4 months old. Uh, iba kasi yung price, mas mura kasi yan compared to selling the chicken na kung saan yung edad niya is between 4 to 5 months. Dito po sa my Central Philippine University where selling the breeders, uh, complete it is with the vaccination. Uh, mahirap na kasi na isugal yung manok natin considering that we are investing here uh, by the millions. So these are what they call the play. You have the growers, the selected one can be sold as a breeder while the other can be sold as what they call the for dress chicken to wear to our consumers. The breeders can be sold to those who are interested no, to have it no, to be raised in that area. And usually, po, uh, we suggest na 
uh, you better purchase uh, bidder po talaga na native chicken na kung saan na, na ma-identify mo talaga na that using the local strain. No, iba kasi yung uh, sinasabihin natin na uh, uh, pari native chicken. No, pari, uh, ang tawag doon is what they call the colored broilers. Malaki yung katawan. No, iba kasi ang katawan ng native natin compared with the uh, colored broilers. Now in terms of the chain, no, the chain of the market, no, from the racer, it may pass to different uh, layers of middlemen. Na sa yun ko bakit na minsan in some other areas sobrang mura ng uh, manok no pag sabi natin sobrang man, mura ng manok especially in the pampang areas na kung saan uh, pupunta yung middleman uh, as the number of middleman increases ang nagiging problema natin is that the uh, price of the chicken no ang kumikita ng malaki is those middleman in between uh, kawawa yung consumers bakit yung producers sa consumers kawawa bakit yung racer No, they are buying that in a very uh, cheaper cost. However, when it reaches to the consumers, sobrang mahal naman because of this level of middleman. That is why that if you want to raise native chicken, make sure that you can, if preferably, no, preferably, if you can contact the uh, processor, no, direct to the processor, uh, it would be uh, great. No, market at least the the effect can be two. No, it can increase the level of income of the racer at the same time yung manok po uh, when it reaches the consumer medyo affordable na compared than passing it in terms of several middlemen now uh, given the demand that we perceive uh, sabi natin as early as 2013 nakita na yung demand na yung in the, sa buong Pilipinas it requires about 200 million heads of native chicken but still na uh, you could not found the uh, numbers of racer that is uh, raising native chicken in commercial scale uh, when we conducted studies on the among the native chicken producers or so the racers we found out that uh, one of the hindrances why that racers were not uh, is not raising native chicken in larger scale first is in terms of the objectives na ang pinaka objective kasi po ng racer No, in the in the in the farm, they're raising native chicken, not just for the purpose for consumption only. So what happened is that uh, what reaches in the market is those chicken na kung saan na surplus in the consumption or in terms of the household consumption. So those are what they call the one of the great hindrances that we found out is the objective talaga na racer. Second is that uh, longer time of rearing. Uh, Uh, kung makita po natin, uh, it is uh, observed na kung yung manok po natin that is in a completely parents condition, umaabot hanggang anim. No, we have even uh, attendee coming from Mindanao na sinasabi niya, may benta niya lang manok niya at the weight of about 1 kilo for almost 9 months. So, ibig sabihin that uh, that longer time of breeding no, is very critical. No, bakit? Uh, the more you, re- you, you care for the chicken in the farm, na uh, the longer the caring period no usually ang uh, association or in terms of sakit and in terms of what they call the pig consumption however we develop technologies na kung saan no basta tingnan natin palagi po na yung uh, requirement of market actually uh, they are not requiring that the chicken should be aging about a year old but uh, what they are requiring for the chicken is that preferably no yung manok dapat is uh, processing a tender and user meat uh, pangalawa dapat na standardized Ibig sabihin po, standardized, halos uh, pantay-pantay yung katawan. Pag sinabi natin ang bigat, no, sabihin natin, uh, for example, uh, the wanted, no, yung manok is about mga 800-200 grams. So, if you're buying about by 5,000 or 10,000, you can supply them based on the weight that they are prescribing. So, ganyan po. And then, the, aside from the objectives and the longer time of braiding, another uh, hindrances. Why is that uh, only few engaged in commercial production of native chicken? Is that in terms of the availability of package of technology for commercial production? Uh, iba kasi, we, we try to venture the na kung saan, raising by the thousands and then applying what they call the commerce, the backyard scale of production. Hindi talaga sa magpit doon. Iba ang requirement in terms of the commercial production than with what they call the backyard production. Uh, this technology that used to prevail no, in this country is that yung backyard uh, malaki pong limitation in terms of the backyard. Bakit? 